Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll figure out the formula to calculate the volume of a cube and a cuboid. All right, so what I've got here with me is I have a cuboid that has got length of 4 centimeters, a breadth of 3 centimeters, and a height of 2 centimeters. And I want to find out the volume of this cuboid. Okay, now we learned in a previous lesson that all solid objects are made of unit cubes okay so essentially the volume of a solid is equal to the number of unit cubes that it will take to make that solid object right that's what we learned in a previous lesson now in the case of this cuboid over here we're gonna have to do the same to find out its volume we're gonna have to find out how many of these unit cubes these little cubes over here will it take to make this cuboid over here okay now since all these dimensions are in centimeters this unit cube that we're going to use will be a centimeter cube, okay? So this centimeter cube has got its length as one centimeter. This is one centimeter. This breadth is one centimeter. And this height is also one centimeter, okay? So we're going to find out how many of these little cubes we're going to need to make this larger cube right over here, okay? Now, how do we start? Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this cuboid, okay? Slice it so that its height is equal to, or its height is divided into one centimeter pieces, okay? So this is one centimeter, and this is one centimeter. So after I've sliced up this cuboid, this is how the slices will look like. This is the bottom slice, okay? The length and the breadth are still the same, 4 cm and 3 cm respectively, but the height is now 1 cm. And I cut it up as 1 cm because the height of the little centimeter cube is also 1 cm. Okay, so now we're going to take this little centimeter cube, okay, this one over here, and find out how many we're going to need for each of these two layers okay so I copy and I paste it here and then I place it here okay okay now let's copy a few more and see how many we'll need for the length so so far we've covered two centimeters of the length and we have to cover four centimeters so we're gonna need two more right so there is one more and here is one more Alright, so we have covered all the 4 centimeters of the length. See, this is 1 centimeter. This is 1 centimeter plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, right, of the length. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. But for the breadth, we have covered only 1 centimeter. So we're going to need 2 more rows of these 4 cubes, right? So let's do that. Let's copy these 4 cubes and place them along the width. So copy and paste here and paste one more time over here. All right, we have covered all the four centimeters of the length and we have also covered all the three centimeters of the breadth. But how many centimeter cubes do we have so far? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so we have 12 centimeter cubes for one layer, and that came from four cubes in each of the three rows, right? So four times three, and that gave us our 12 cubes in one layer. Okay, so if there are 12 cubes in one layer, how many cubes will be there in both the layers combined? Well, quite simple. Actually, this is how my layers will look like after I've placed the centimeter cubes in them. And in all, there will be, since there are two layers, there will be 2 times 12 cubes, right? So 2 times 12 cubes. So in all, there will be 24 cubes. So quite simple. This cuboid over here is made of 24 centimeter cubes and this is how this cuboid will look like when i put all these little cubes into it okay so this cuboid over here as we can see is made of 24 cubes or 24 centimeter cubes so its volume is equal to 24 centimeter cube or cubic centimeters 
Okay, now let's see one more time how we got the volume of this cuboid as 24 centimeter cube. Okay. Okay, so the volume, let's write that down. What we did first was we found out how many cubes were there in each of the two layers. Okay, and we saw that there were four times three cubes, right? So four times three cubes in each of the two layers. And since there were two layers, we multiplied that by two, right? Now this four comes from the length, which is four centimeters. So this is four centimeters. Then this three came from the breadth, which is three centimeters. So this is three centimeters. And this two over here came from the height over here, which is two centimeters. So there you go. Four times three times two gave you 24 and centimeters times centimeters times centimeters gave you centimeter cubes. So the volume of this cuboid is equal to the length of the cuboid times the breadth of the cuboid times its height. As simple as that. This is the formula to calculate the volume of a cuboid. The length times the breadth times the height. And in this case, it's 4 centimeters times 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters, which is equal to 24 centimeter cube. So as simple as that, that's the formula to calculate the volume of any cuboid as well as a cube. Simply because a cube is a special cuboid, special because its length is the same as its breadth, which is the same as its height. So a cube is simply a cuboid with equal size. So the formula for calculating the volume of a cube is the same as that for calculating the volume of a cuboid. Okay, so if you were to make this cuboid using smaller unit cubes, then this is how the cube will look like. Right. And if you were to count the total number of uh, unit cubes or centimeter cubes, you will see that there are 125 of them. And how you get that? Well, what you do is, let's see, you write down the formula for volume. We just found out it's equal to length times breadth times height. Okay. Now, in the case of cube, the length, the breadth, and the height, they're all the same, right? So you can also write it as length times length times length, or breadth times breadth times breadth, or height times height times height, or side times side times side, whatever name you want to use for it. Okay, it's all the same. Now, length is 5 centimeters. So 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters. So 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. So 125, and centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeter cube. So you see, it will take 125 cubic centimeters, okay, these small little ones, 125 of these to make this cube over here. So the volume of this cube is therefore 125 centimeter cube. Well, that's that about this lesson. I hope you understood it. And I hope that now you'll go and practice some as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now.